Are you looking for the perfect gift for that skier or snowboarder in your life? Well, here's a great list of a whole bunch of ski and snowboard related items that are all right around $100 or less. Let's get into it. All these items are linked in the description as well as the comments with affiliate links. It does help support the channel, but these are all products that I have personally used myself and know and love and use all the time. First on the list is this Burton tool. It's super portable, super packable. It has a cap so that you can ride with it in your pocket and if you fall on it, you're not gonna get hurt. It also has a built-in bottle opener. I always keep this with me in my car, in my bag, in my pocket. Whenever we go snowboard or travel, I take this thing everywhere because it just makes it super easy to make those on-the-fly adjustments and that way you never know when you're gonna need a tool and there's so many different scenarios that you could find when you're gonna need one. Nothing could ruin a day of snowboarding faster than needing to make an adjustment and not having the tools on you to do it. Next up is this Dekine board lock. I always keep this with me. Again, it's always in my bag. Anytime we go snowboarding, I always have it because you can just never be too careful. Snowboard gear is expensive and you don't wanna risk losing it. Anytime I leave my snowboard unattended, I wrap it up with this thing. It's small, it's portable, it's got a long enough cable though that we normally can wrap up like three or four boards together and that way we always just have that little extra peace of mind that our boards are going to be safely stashed. Next is ski or snowboard socks. You can never go wrong with socks. Having the right socks can make or break a great day of snowboarding or skiing. My personal favorite are the smart wool snowboard socks. I think they're super comfortable in all weather conditions, whether it's hot or really cold. The merino wool helps regulate your foot temperatures a little bit better, as well as it's antimicrobial, so they're going to be naturally odor resistant. It's going to help keep your feet and boots from getting stinky. You could never have too many pairs of ski or snowboard socks. Goggles. I've been running Outdoor Master goggles for two years. I've used the Pros, the Vision, the Ultras, the Seagulls, the, the brand new Falcons. All of these goggles are going to come in at great price points for what you get. Most of these come with a goggle bundle, which is going to give you the goggles, an extra set of lens. That way you get a high and low light lens. You get a hard showcase, a soft showcase. So you're pretty much going to be set for every scenario. I've never found myself in a scenario really where I needed that third lens. I just have run the two that it came with, and I've been really happy across the board. On the Outdoor Master goggles, you're going to get a whole bunch of high-end tech at a really great price. They're comfortable. They offer good ventilation. you got magnetic lenses, excellent color contrast. They never fog. The list goes on and on. I can never say enough good things about these goggles. I love them. All of my riding buddies use them. As soon as they tried them, they immediately switched and picked up a pair. I'll have all the different styles and price points all listed below. I think you're going to be happy with any of them. Personally, for this season, I'm switching to the Seagulls and the Falcons. They're both new for this season. The Seagulls are their brand new foldable goggles, so you can pack them in your pocket, stick them somewhere. They're great for travel. And then... I'm also going to be running the Falcon, which is their newest flagship model. It's got a lens that was co-developed by Zeiss. I just ran these over the weekend and I really, really liked them. A snowboard travel sleeve. This is a great way to add an extra layer of protection on your snowboard during travel. They have two styles. One will completely cover the board. The other one wraps around the board and allows you to leave the bindings on. I never fly without putting one of these on my snowboard just because it does just give a little bit more like a nice layer around your snowboard to protect your top sheet from things in your snowboard bag. We've all seen how airport staff handles luggage. Well, this is just going to keep those edges protected, give it a nice soft layer. That way your board give you an extra peace of mind that your board is going to make it to your snowboard destination in one piece. I can't recommend these enough. Next up is a stomp pad. I always run a stomp pad on my snowboards just because it makes skating and getting on and off the chairlift so much easier. It gives you so much more grip and traction. I've ran a lot of different stomp pads, but the Crab Grab Shark Teeth are my personal favorite. I think they offer the most grip in any condition. They also, where they have a big spiky platform, like even in deep snow, you're going to get traction and you can use it to kind of rake your boot across it and help get some of that snow off from the bottom of your boot when it starts to get stuck. If the shark teeth are out of stock, I also do like the Mega Claws quite a bit. They've worked really well for me also, but I think the shark teeth just offer a little bit more traction. Gloves. One of the most important pieces of gear. I started running the VO gloves last year and they have completely changed the game for me. No more drop gloves, no more having to fiddle with straps because the VO gloves had that zipper design. You never have to take your glove fully off. You just unzip it, fold it down, and you can use your hands, put it back on, and you're ready to go. It also works great to allow you to just open that glove up and bent your hands because if you're like me, your hands do get cold in these really cold temperatures, but then when you're as you're going down the run, your hands start to get hot and sweat, and so in the lift line, I'll kind of crack that zipper a little bit, let some of that heat out, let some of that cold air in, and it just helps my glove stay nice and dry throughout the day. If your glove does get wet, I also think it's great to be able to unzip them and then put them near a fireplace or over a heater. It's going to allow them to dry out a little bit faster. 
I used them last year in two back-to-back 20-inch powder days in Utah. My hands stayed nice, warm, and dry, as well as I ran them in Jackson Hole, and it was negative 20, and even without a glove liner, I just ran the VO gloves, and my hands stayed super comfortable for the entire day. Hands down, cannot recommend these gloves enough. If you are interested in these gloves, definitely grab a pair because they do tend to go out of stock fairly quick. Last season I picked up the White Space Neck Gator and I liked it so much that I've actually picked up a second one for this season. It's super lightweight, super breathable, but it is merino wool so it does a great job regulating that temperature on your face. Even when I was in those negative temperatures at Jackson Hole, my face stayed nice and warm. It also is where it is merino wool that gives it again that antimicrobial property so it's going to be naturally odor resistant so if you're traveling you can use it for multiple days without it getting stinky or smelly. This is going to allow you like if you're somewhere where you can't wash your gear as often or just in general you're not going to have to pack as many because before I got this net gator I would just use one every single day. This one allows you to use one for a couple days so just a little bit less that you're going to have to have or pack. It's really nice and warm, great price point. I can't recommend this one enough. The Burton Burke Hood. This is always in my bag whenever we travel. It's always in my snowboard backpack. It's just a great way to block that super cold wind when you are out there because on the mountain, the temperatures can change pretty rapidly. It can get super cold. Those harsh winds when you're at those higher elevations can be really, really cold. This does an excellent job of just giving you that extra layer of protection. It does offer an over the helmet fit so it keeps all that wind off of your helmet, your face, your chin. I always, always always travel with this one it's super soft warm and fairly cheap so definitely just great to have when you know that there's going to be those extra cold days when you're out there snowboarding on the mountain it's super easy you just throw it on over your helmet and you're good to go action camera batteries any skier or snowboarder is going to appreciate an extra battery because cold weather can be super taxing on those batteries you can never have enough batteries for your cameras i always travel with two insta 360 batteries or three to four gopro batteries i'll link below gopro dji insta 360 that way no matter which camera they have i'll give you a link for those cameras you can always 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 use an extra battery the same goes for SD cards. No skier or snowboarder can never have enough small SD cards because you have so much footage coming in. Personally, I prefer the Samsung or the SanDisk. I normally run a 128 or 256. I like to have multiple small SD cards instead of one big one. That way, if something goes wrong, you're only gonna lose you know, a little bit of footage versus losing everything you have recorded. I normally on hand have like six or seven of these at a time. I can guarantee the skier or snowboarder in your life will appreciate an extra SD card. Another great one is a helmet. Any skier or snowboarder is going to appreciate a new helmet. Outdoor Master has tons of different styles and price points, tons of different colorways on helmets across the line. Similar to their goggles, they pack in a ton of great features and tech into their helmets, making them super safe, super comfortable, but keeping them at a relatively lower price point compared to a lot of other brands. They feature a boa dial in the back, an insanely soft inner liner. Some of them have vents that can open and close. A lot of their helmets, even at those great price points, feature MIPS, and to be able to find a to be able to find a helmet with MIPS below $100 is absolutely awesome. I've been running their helmets for the last two years, and I love them. My personal favorite is the Diamond Snow. This year, I also did pick up a carbon fiber one, as well as their new helmet, the Elk. I'm really excited to see how these do. I hope you found the perfect gift for that skier or snowboarder that you're looking for. Again, everything is linked down below with affiliate links as well as promo codes, so definitely check those out. I love to help you all save money where I can. These do help support the channel, but again, these are all products that I know, love, and personally use. But if you do have any questions about them, definitely let me know. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thanks for checking it out.